Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the avid tent camper. Uh, I'm up at Burritt Mountain, Burritt on the Mountain, in near Huntsville, Alabama, and demonstrating uh, campfire cooking. I'm, I'll be cooking some hickory smoked bacon, some hoe cakes, and some potato stew. So hang with us and I'll kind of show you around. Burritt on the Mountain is an open air museum located on Round Top Mountain, adjacent to Monticeno, and just east of Huntsville, Alabama. It has a beautiful scenic view of downtown Huntsville, and it features many old and interesting buildings, including this energy-efficient mansion built by Dr. William Burritt in 1936. My favorite part of the Burritt Museum is the historic park that features over 10 historic log structures that were collected from several locations around North Alabama and Central Tennessee. For example, this is the historic Eddins House that first appears as you enter the gate of the historic park. This is the Mills home that was first built about 1845. Here is the barn that has an adjacent barnyard with live animals. This is the Chandler House that was built in 1845. And my favorite structure is the Gardener Cabin because it is a single room or single pen cabin that is very similar to the old cabins that were built by pioneers such as Laura Ingalls Wilder's family back in the 1800s. During the year, the historic park has several events during which historical interpreters dress up in 1800s clothing and talk with the public about various different skills that were needed by pioneer families in order to survive that difficult time. For example, here I am talking with a group of school children in front of the Smith Williams house about different types of axes and how they were used to cut trees, build cabins, make furniture, and split firewood. Here are a couple more of my axe presentation set up different, during different years. In this photo, I was talking about how to use woodworking tools to make furniture. This lady is demonstrating how to make lace. This flint napper showed how to make arrowheads, axes, and other tools from rocks. And there's always some musicians playing old-time tunes. The 2019 Folklife Festival was held on the weekend of November the 2nd and 3rd, and I was asked to demonstrate campfire cooking. My location was a ring of rocks located in the yard behind the Chandler house and next to the smoke house and the pig pen. Thank you. Is that one? That's two, yeah, yeah. okay. Be great, yes, thank you. Smokehouse. Children's play area. Here's my prep table. See the cabin. Here's my fire. I gotta turn my bacon.
going to be making hoe cakes in a little while and potato stew and this is some of the food items and utensils that I'm using The ingredients of the potato stew included bacon rendering, butter, a little flour, onions, potatoes, milk, water, chicken bouillon, sour cream, grated hoop cheese, and crumbled bacon. It sure was good. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this little short video about my campfire cooking uh, today. And I hope that you'll watch some of my other videos. I wish that I had more photos to show you, but I was very busy during the day. We, I had to make the fire, had to tend the fire, had to cook the food, and talk with over 200 visitors that uh, came to the park today. For more information about campfire cooking and other tent camping procedures, please visit my website, Modern Tent Camping. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping.